Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Celeste Any Percent League, brought to you by Global Speedrun Association. My name is Zojalix, and I'm here joined with Troy of Athens to bring you guys a race between Psyched SR and Archie Gaming's Archie Boys 666. How you doing tonight, Troy? I'm doing good. I've seen some. I've seen a couple of good races today, and I'm very uh, excited to see a third one. That's of course going to be good because it's the last. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Both of these runners. Um, and as you look at the um, uh, leader uh, standings, standings, I should say, not leaderboards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Psyched SR is in ninth place right now with 163 points and Archie Boy in 11th with 84. Archie Boy still haven't, hasn't quite gotten his first win yet in the league, so we'll be hopefully wanting to see Archie Boy pick one up for himself, but he is not going to get it without a fight from Psyched. And so now we are getting started with this race. All right, getting that quick initial sync up done right away, just so that way the runners are on as close of a start as possible. Uh, very nice to be seeing that. Again, shout outs to GSA staff for just always keeping on top of that. So uh, both of these runners are uh, looking at them uh, both of them really, actually every single runner in this league is very solid. We've seen a lot of really cool improvement. So it'll be interesting to see how this race will play out. Um, I personally don't really have any predictions for this race. So I don't know if you have any predictions, Troy. Uh, not particularly. I don't tip, I, I'm not one to do predictions too much. Okay. Uh, I just like to see how they, how they turn out because it's just there are a lot of factors in Celeste. Like it's just it's such a it, it's such a like dense game of technical inputs that like it it, it could be really difficult to predict it, uh predict it. But I, yeah. I I do feel like this is gonna be close at least. Yeah, definitely. I I just right now I think Psyched might just have a slight edge over Archie Boy granted that's going mainly off of standings as well as PBs on the board but with a race being totally different than PB attempts this could go either way and I think it would be great to see Archie Boy be able to pull out a run and as I speak wow. Psyched clips himself on the wall missing his hyper dash from the uh, destructible taking a death there which is going to give Archie Boy an early lead coming out of Forsaken City yeah, not a huge one though, only a few seconds. I think it's not even a few seconds. Oh yeah, about two, just under two seconds. All right, so now we're gonna be getting started on Old Site being, a, a, uh, you know, Forsaken City and Old Site being two of the most technical, I mean, the entire game is technical, but just with the amount of optimizations that this game is seen city we see runners being able to achieve sub one minute cities old site utilizing the different mechanics of the dream blocks as well as Ooh. the awake section Ooh, archie boy kind of uh dashing a little bit too early and so the mechanics of the dash blocks is as long as you're still in your dashing animation you will go into them but if you dash too early you can still hit the dash block, but not still go there. Hit the dream block, but not go in it. Yeah, there is some. I believe there actually is some uh, give on that, but it can be done. Yep. Certainly not something you want to get. So, unfortunately, Archie Boy is going to is going to run into that problem. So, actually, looking right now at that screen transition, Psyched was actually able to get the lead back. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely looks like Psyched is currently in the lead. Not by too much, though. No, it is definitely very, very close. And hopefully it stays this close. I love super close races like this. And so that's always one of my favorite things is when we're able to see a really close race between runners. Absolutely. Okay, Archie entering the awake section now. Psyched also doing so. Of course, the timer desync. Uh, being the way it is, Psyched is, of course, ahead right now, but it is kind of, it, it doesn't look like that RTA wise, at least. Yep. But you know, again, one of the nice, I really love the 
precision and the i just love the mechanics of the in-game timer in celeste as you can just see how it all works super well and doesn't make it like it's accurate it's very well done and so i absolutely love that mm -hmm. as a use and so, uh, going into chapter three, psyched with about a three second lead over Archie boy. Uh, but again, chapter three being the one that it is, that could very easily change. And so psyched actually missing the corner boost off, but Ooh. Oh, Archie boy. I couldn't quite tell what happened, but he ended up taking a retry there. Uh, and then going out of the room to reset the cycles. Troy, did you see what happened? I think he just. Didn't get an, an extended da uh, extended dash, so he okay. Yeah, he just didn't have any dashes in that mid air. All or right, so area. that will definitely be giving Psyched a little bit more of a lead, which is definitely something you want for Chapter Three, just to allow them just to oh, Archie Boy taking another death. That one was in the beginning of the screen, though, so not going to be as significant. No, it's not going to be too detrimental, but even still, taking a lot of deaths early on in Chapter 3 can all easily add up. So if you're psyched, that's definitely something that you want to s Well, you want to see in terms of it helps you to know that you can play a little bit safer and afford, and afford some smaller time losses in the grand scheme of things. As now both runners are beginning their huge mess sections. And we're looking at just about a 10 second difference between the players, maybe a bit more. Okay, yeah. As uh, Psyched is now coming out of the books and heading into laundry archie boy not too far behind hopefully trying to figure out some way that he can make up some gra oh oh archie boy missed timing his dash to get above the dust bunnies and ends up dashing into them unfortunate oh archie Messing boy up on the corner another death there Okay, it's like gonna be starting out the elevator shaft section. 16, uh, sorry, 618 on Meadow Shiro. So, uh, getting close to just under a 20 second lead for Psyched, mm -hmm. which is definitely a really strong position for what you want to be in. Yeah, Psyched's gonna be coming up on Demo Dash. See if Psyched will opt for the checkpoint, and he's not going for the checkpoint, but he is able to get it first try. Oh, really nice to see that, because that could have been a huge time loss had he missed that. Oh! Oh! But he dashes into the dust bunny. Yeah, he having was struggling in the screen, not getting the corner boost. He was definitely feeling it in that screen. Archie Boy gonna be uh, going through Demo Dash, not getting the corner boost either, but he's still working through this screen and getting through it in the first try. That's gonna help him. Uh, that will definitely help him. help him make up some time. Yeah, definitely catch him up a little bit too. Psyched, who, who has already a few screens into the Oshiro section. Yeah, Oshiro, I don't know why, but oh, Archie Boy stumbled a little bit. Not sure what exactly happened, but he ended up jumping into a dust bunny, which caused him to take another death. So this is definitely looking like this race is going to be out in Sykes favor. Nope. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Sykes tripping up a little bit on that last part, but it is going to make it through. 
getting a mm. 748, 748 on that file on timer. IL timer. Or on the file timer, not IL. Yeah. And an 810 for Archie Boys. So we got about a 22 second lead for Psyched going into Golden Ridge. Oh, Psyched kind of missing, messing up on the reverse ultra there. Yeah, not able to maintain the momentum that they wanted to. But recovers from it fine. You don't really have much risk of dying when you do that. As you no, can see, you don't. Boy pulling it off there, though. Psyched getting the Archie. And very clean play through that key room as now he's uh, moving, continuing to move through chapter four and hopefully making his way to the end of Golden Ridge. Now, just wanting to highlight to every single one of the audience members that you guys can, um, if you guys would like to see where some of the other races for the league are going to be happening, go ahead and use the command exclamation point schedule in the chat. And if you want to see the current leagues, oh, oh, psyched missing the jump to the bubble and ends up taking a retry. And this time he's going to take a different approach on it. Taking a safer one. Mm-hmm. Excellent spike jumps there as now he goes through on the first uh, auto scroller and his auto scroller uh, setting up for the box list and he's or block list or whatever it's called. Anyways, but he's got the strap. Archie boy is now going to be going for it himself. And he's got it as well. Oh, psych taking a death in this room in this room as well. Struggling a little bit. Uh, looked like he might have missed time to dash over onto the springs and fallen, but he was able to get it on his second try. As now both runners have begun the cliff face section. Yeah, it's like able to maintain this lead. Working through, uh, making it past some of these snowballs. And doing some unconventional parts as well, so like definitely making up for it. Like, he's doing some very good improvis improvisation on the like, side to keep himself alive. Right, meanwhile, yeah. Archboy is gonna take a death there. Okay, so I can be able to finish it out, getting a 1041, I believe, on that file. Should be a 1040. 1040, yeah. And Archie right. Boy Archie gonna Boy be with a 10.58. Okay, so 18 second difference. Archie Boy gonna be making up a little and bit of time. Definitely one bubs drop fail from Psyched could open this. Well, it wouldn't necessarily open up for a potential lead change, but if Psyched does fail bubs drop, that will be a huge uh, opening for. Um, yeah, 5B always, being a huge, 5B always being a very impactful area. Not just Bub's Drop, but all the stuff after that Bub's oh, Drop Oh, definitely. Well. So, even still, with the 18 second lead, this race is, is still fairly close. Psyched with a very clean Depths Corner boost, getting that going on him. Oh, but he bubbles down diagonally. And ooh, Archie boy kind of stumbling, uh, messing up his depth's corner boost, goes for it a second try, but only gets it about halfway this time. So there will be a little bit of time that Psyched will save over Archie boy in that way. As, oh no, Psyched messing up his cycles in the cassette room, actually ends up, oh, and he dies ooh. again. This could very easily be a really good opening for Archie boy as those, oh, Psych wow. taking three deaths in the cassette room. 
His timer is still ahead of Archie boys. So he's on he's only ahead by a 10 seconds. Actually, he's ahead by less than 10 seconds. Yeah. We're looking at about a six second lead from Sykes, giving the camera a little bit of a shake as he enters into um, 5B. And it looks like we're getting a sync here just to be able to see how close the uh, runners are. Good so now idea. we get into 5B. We've got a, a lot of just super precise mechanical play as well as the famous trick Bubs Drop. Psyched coming up onto his first attempt here. We'll see if he's able to get it. Archie Boy not too far behind. And Psyched oh! messes it up. If Archie Boy is able to get this on the first try, Archie Boy will be able to secure the will be able to snag the lead. And oh, and Archie Boy messes it up! What? Oh, oh man! This is anyone's runners game are now still. kept even, and Psyched is able to get it on his second try. Archie Boy now looking to take his second attempt. And oh, oh no. no! Archie Boy messes it up. That's gonna be such a huge time loss. Yeah, given all this, all the math that's going on right now, it's a roughly an 18 second gap now for Archie Boy. Gonna get on the third try now. Oh man. The damage has already been done, Archie. Oh, now he's not able to get this jump off the corner. Yeah, that spike jump can be hard. As now Psyched looking to be entering the mirror at a 13.36. Archie Boy is definitely at a deficit now. Failing Bubs Drop. Oh, and he takes another death there. This 5B is not going well for him. We're looking at over 20 second differential between the runners now. Potential. We're looking at about a 30 second lead here for Psyched as we are in the mirror. And just like that, this went from a 6 second lead to a 30 second lead just from one missed bubs drop attempt and a couple of other mistakes. But even Psyched too, he had some mishaps. He failed bubs drop once as well as a, he had one more death in 5B. So had he been able to get that first try, this race would be in such a different position right now. Oh, but Psyched, oh, and Archie boy. Yeah, it's like not getting the throw off of that uh, uh, to get Theo to land on the dash block there. Meanwhile, Archie Boy struggling with some seeker manipulation. Psych now making it through the impossible room. And finishing up with a 1453 as Archie Boy is now entering the Theo section of the chapter. I gotta say, watching the Theo section is probably one of my favorite parts of the run. Just the way that the runners are able to just throw Theo at the specific place that they need to and just be able to move oh. as if the Seekers like don't even really exist. I mean, sometimes the Seekers can be a problem, but... Oh! Uh -huh. Archie Boy missing the throw with Theo and ends up at... Theo ends up falling, causing the death there from Archie. Yeah, Archie just struggling a little bit with this Theo section. Yeah, this 5B, definitely something Archie Boy's gonna have to look at cleaning up as he goes in to uh, finishing up the rest of his matches. Okay, 15.45 for Archie Boy. And yeah, we got Sight going over to 6B now. Going to pick up that cassette. Oh, gets crushed by the Kevin block. <laughs> okay. Oh, and Psych getting Revo's nonsense. Cool to see Psych being able to pull that off. That is really awesome to see that as now Psych it will be entering 6B. Very, very good to see that happening. 
Uh, 6B, I gotta say, I love watching 6B as it's, it's starting to become, you. it's starting to be used a lot more. It's still a very, very technically difficult chapter, but it just provides so much, like, it, I just love watching B-sides, just seeing the amount of technical play that, the technical precision that has to be done by these runners in a B-side is absolutely impressive absolutely and yeah given that about it, it seems that like three of the runners in the league regularly uh go for 6b in their routes now yep so. i know psyched aurora dash who's the third i mean i'm looking i have the stat sheet open so i can at least tell you that one well, he's got fine someone did it Oh no, Psyche going down on the first descent. But he, oh, and he spikes, he dashes into the spikes twice. This being one of the longer screens, that's going to be a bigger deficit for him, having to do that now three times as he goes into the second descent. This one a lot cleaner than the last one as he goes into the third descent of spikes. Oh, it actually only. Looks to be just psyched in Aurora, actually, now looking at it. Okay. Oh, no! Psyched dropping down into the spikes again. Because now he's got one more descent. Nope. He's got more than that, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I'm still, yeah, I'm still, I'm not used to the 6B. There's an, it, it's an entire section. It, it, it's, I, I believe it's about seven or eight screens <laughs> of just falling. <laughs> um, I think he's got like two more. Okay. No, this is the last falling screen. I know what the last one looks like. So yeah, this is the last vertical screen for Psyche. All right. And he will finish that up as now he will be entering his battling fight here in just a little bit with Archie Boy kind of messing up on these dev intended skips here, but he will be entering his battle and fight here in just a little bit. He's just got to drop down through the water and then begin battle and boost. I'm not sure what the time differential is between the two runners. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. It's pretty much impossible to get the exact on it, but I feel it's like this. It's definitely true that Psych is still in the lead with this. He's. Uh, of course, the battle in sections a bit less screens, but it definitely is harder. So it's yep. gonna be something for Psych to be able to work through carefully here in order to keep the lead that he has. Yeah, definitely. As Archie Boy is on his fight as well, definitely seeing just the way that the two runners play the fight. And especially psyched with a lot more technical precision that is being required of him because he's playing on the B side. But that doesn't mean that there is not technical precision that has to happen from Archie Boy as well, as there's a lot that happens in the battle and fight. Oh, psyched! Wow, getting that ultra. <laughs> that is a tight trick to pull off. I did not expect him to go for that. No one really goes for that. Off that often. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, and Archie going for that feather skip. Not, not something I see very often. Is is this feather skip? And is that one even faster. It's about the same time. It's almost like exactly the same time, which is why you don't see anyone going for it very often. But I got okay. used to doing it just because it's fun to do. So I do it sometimes. Okay, it's like finishing out chapter 6B now on this crystal heart section. And getting a 2048 on that file timer. Very good pace for Psyched. Yeah, Archie Boy with quite a bit of a deficit as he still has the second round of the battle and fight yet to do. 
Yeah, all in all, I say it was a very good 6B from Psyched. Yeah, it was very well done, very impressive. I, this is one of the another one of the reasons why I love seeing 6B because it just to have a good 6B is very is such an impressive feat. Yeah. Okay, Archie Boy looking to finish out their 6A run here on the final battle and fight screen. As uh, Psyched is wrapping up his zero meters, entering 500. He's got over a minute of a lead now, which is definitely a position that you want to be in. If you are psyched, especially as we get closer and closer to the end of the summit. Now we're actually with a 22.04. Looking to be about like a minute and a half difference between the two players. Yeah. Is that how much time 6B saves? <laughs> I didn't think so, cause but like I know there was already like a 30, 40 second difference between the two runners, but it didn't feel like Archie had that rough of a six A. It wasn't that bad, but I mean, Sykes like just had a. I, I feel like was like comparatively just so much smoother with his 6B that it, it definitely makes sense. Ooh, psyched. Missing the ultra there. Oh, and he misses it again. Mm. I think he's going for the dream block hyper, but mistimes it yeah, and ends up- Yeah, that's some dream hypers. Just flinging himself to his death. Yep, that is the risk of the Dream Hypers. Too late on them, you're just doing a diagonal downward dash into a pit. And ooh, Archie Boy dashing himself into the spikes, but will uh, get it around the second try. As he is looking to wrap up his... Uh, 500 meters here in just a little bit. As Psyched is maneuvering. Ooh, and Psyched dashing, uh, not dashing a little bit too far forward, which makes him fall, or not fall, but go into the dust bunnies, and he has to take a death there. Okay, Archie in 1,000 meters. Again, some good Dream Hyper is going to be trying to get them through the rest of this, uh, the rest of this section. Looking good. I don't think Archie missed a single Dream Hyper there. Looks like taking a death at the beginning of 2,000 meters. Archie working through 1500. Gonna be handling some of these longer screens. Very clean from him for that first longer screen as he comes up on the next one that is full of ultra dashes. It's like pulling off the auto scroller skip skip. Very well done from both of these runners, highlighting just their abilities to just stay focused and despite any of the hiccups that happen, just being able to continue to play the best game of Celeste that you can. And hoping that your opponent does not play better. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to be moving out of 2,000 meters shortly as Archie is just entering it now. Archie boy opting just for a regular auto scroller skip, not going for the skip skip. Very respectable for him to be playing. Mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, good recovery. Is yeah. Nice, very He's good recovery. He's gonna be able to save that. Well done, Archie. And Sight oh. actually missing oh, oh, up. No. Oh no! Oh no! The end of that auto scroller too. Oh, that is so rough. Ooh, Sight struggling to thread the needle on his first try, but it's able to get it a second try. And that's gonna be one. Two doors skipped from Sight. Very well done. As he looks to head in to 3,000 meters and wrap up his run against Archie Boy. Yeah, I, I, I think threading the needle is a lot easier to do with uh, on the second try than on the first. Because you, you got to kind of target the wave dash correctly. Whereas with the death, like you know where you're going to spawn. You've practiced it a bunch. You understand the timing that you need. Of course, it's still possible to die on the second try, but... Oh, it is. It's just... I, I I personally have not really done it as much as I have with the first one. I don't think I've actually even pulled the, off ooh, the first try. Archie boy right, misses it. In... Oh, Archie oh. boy struggling in this screen here. And this is definitely Sykes race to lose. Mm-hmm. That's just the ball has been in his court and he's just continuing to drive it archie boy finishing up that key skip how many sports metaphors are we gonna go through social looks <laughs> uh you'd be surprised by how many i can pull out okay it was just like two in a row and i was like okay <laughs> ball in the court and driving what is this <laughs> well i'm oh okay All right, Archie boy dying on his first attempt of uh, door skip, but he is able to get him around second try. Psyched working and... through the teens of 3,000 meters. Oh, Archie recovering a little bit on his 2,500. Good catch. Nice, well done. Psyched is going to be... Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God, Archie. That was so close. Yeah, Archie that... boy missing the bubble initially. Yeah, 2,500 meters. That's oh, very like... interesting in that it actually has like it has like a scrolling limit where if um, for that part especially like if you are trying to get back down you actually can't go all the way back down. You gotta you basically have to do what Archie just there did there of landing on the dash block on his way back up. So like that's the only way to recover that. So. Good job for Archie being able to figure that out. Yeah, definitely very impressive play there. Only a couple of more flags left for Psyched as he looks to be wrapping up his run. Uh, Archie Boy trying to come up behind, get as many points as he possibly can. Yeah, Psyched on flag number three right now. Well, Archie is working on the team. Okay, Psyched. Gonna be under the wire, gonna be getting a sub 30, getting that 29.49, I believe. 48, okay. Very well done. From Psyched, an excellent race time. Mm -hmm. Very well done from him there. 
as now psyched next week is going to be racing against chai kitty so that will definitely be a really good race both of those runners are really close in the standings right now so it'll be really interesting to see who is able to pull out a lead there and then archie boy is going to be going up against tgh so archie boy definitely being an underdog in that race but it still i don't like to count anybody out because we you can see some crazy things happen in a celeste race mm -hmm. archie gonna be finishing it out now working on flag number three hitting two just now looking to be within about two minutes of of sykes time yeah so still able to snag some points for himself Being able to just continue to get the points that you need to keep yourself alive in the league. That time will come down to a 31-26 from Archie Boy. Very well done from him. Uh, you know, only real things I can think of for highlighting in that race is just Psyched playing extremely well on the 6B. Uh, but both runners having to take at least two tries onto Bub's drop psyched being able to come out ahead of that on the first uh take getting a second try bubs drop archie boy then having to take a third attempt at it uh not there were a couple of other smaller mistakes uh as you can look at the death counts and see that yeah okay which, actually as you look at the deaths Sight had le more deaths than Archie Boy in his race. Mm -hmm. That can happen. It's you know, it's just a case of where you die of like how er how early into the screen it is. Yeah, yeah like the small deaths versus like major ones that could happen at the end 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 of screens. Yep. Definitely, and then as well too, having a uh, miss of a bubs drop, which can definitely put a lot of time because it's quite a huge deficit when you have a short run like Celeste. It's a huge deficit to be failing bubs drop too many times, but still, uh, GG's to both runners. Do you have anything else you would like to say? Um, no, not too much. I feel it's a good race, uh, given my. A uh, good effort given by both racers here, and you know it's gonna be cool to see what what players can do. Uh, we, you know, we're we're about halfway through the season. Yeah, so. we are getting to that halfway point in the season, so definitely wanting to start trying to get as many wins as you can. Uh, just hopefully to get points and put yourself up through the standings, and hopefully make as we get closer and closer to playoffs hopefully be able to get that playoff spot mm -hmm. but we still have two more races for today yeah, so stick around for those uh we're yep. gonna be going to that shorter mission now yeah and we're coming back. up coming up next we have marlin versus aurora dash just after intermission so definitely stick around for that peace